As part of the Artemis program, NASA is preparing to send astronauts to explore more of the moon. We are pleased to learn that SpaceX has finally signed an agreement with NASA on this project of human landing systems. It's thrilling to see NASA finally send people to the moon after such a long wait. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we warmly welcome you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's dive into our space industry and see what's going on. Recently, SpaceX has collaborated with NASA experts to inform its lander design and ensure it meets NASA's performance requirements and human spaceflight standards. These agreed upon standards range from engineering, safety, health, and medical technical areas, and are a key for safety systems. NASA announced on Friday that it has awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract to use Starship to transport astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. The contract continues NASA's practice of enlisting private companies to transport astronauts, cargo, and robotic explorers to orbit. It also represents something of a triumph as Mr. Musk in the Battle of Space Billionaires. One of the competitors for the NASA lunar contract was Blue Origin, created by Jeff Bezos of Amazon. SpaceX now outshines Blue Origin and other rocket builders, emphasizing how it has become the highest profile partner of NASA in its human spaceflight program. When NASA achieves its aim of landing the next astronauts on the moon as part of the Artemis mission, which includes the first woman and person of color, as promised by the Biden administration. They'll most likely be in a SpaceX vehicle. SpaceX's HLS Starship, designed to land on the moon, relies on the company's tested Raptor engines and Falcon and Dragon flight culture. The Starship has a large cabin as well as two airlocks for astronaut moonwalks. The Starship architecture is meant to evolve into a fully reusable launch and landing system for trips to the moon, Mars, and other destinations. Along with this, NASA and its commercial and international partners are returning to the moon with NASA's Space Launch System rocket, Orion spacecraft, HLS, and the Gateway Lunar Outpost for scientific discovery, economic benefits, and inspiration for a new generation. Isn't it so exciting? Well, there's more. Throughout the Artemis program, the agency will work with its partner to fine-tune precision landing technologies and develop new mobility capabilities to ensure exploration of new regions on the moon. On the surface, the agency has proposed constructing a new habitat and rovers, as well as testing new power systems and other initiatives. These and other Artemis program innovations and advancements will ensure that NASA and its partners are prepared for the next big step in human exploration. In addition to that, Musk spoke next to the 50-meter-long 200-ton Starship prototype which he described as the most inspiring thing he's ever seen. He described the vehicle's unique design features and outlined plans to accelerate the production of a Starship fleet. Musk stated that his goal is to reach orbit in less than six months. Including that, SpaceX has been working towards the goal of making space travel more affordable and accessible to would-be space travelers since its inception in 2002. The Starship is the company's next venture a large vehicle capable of transporting people into space, safely returning into Earth and being able to turn around and fly again. The goal now, according to Musk, is for the largest starship, a vehicle capable of carrying people to accomplish the same feat. The thing will take off and fly to about 65,000 feet or about 20 kilometers and then land within one or two months, he stated. It's going to be pretty epic to see that thing take off and land. In addition to that, Musk stated that the company is working hard over the next five to six months to build the next iterations for the Starship prototype. To accomplish this, he stated that the company is ramping up production of the rocket's engines to meet a production target of one new engine per day by early next year. If everything goes as planned, we could potentially see people flying next year, he said. Although SpaceX is under no obligation to fly a CLPS mission that year or any year, SpaceX is only now eligible to bid on NASA Lunar Delivery Services for each moon contract. It will still have to beat out the rest of the CLPS pool, which is now 14 companies strong. And each mission flown by Starship under the CLPS banner will almost certainly transport cargo for a variety of customers. According to Shotwell, 
the Starship is capable of carrying 110 tons, that's 100 metric tons, of the Moon's dusty grey surface on each trip. Also, it's difficult to imagine NASA filling out the manifest of its own. SpaceX does not have one crewed Starship missions on the books. A trip around the Moon booked by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Meizawa, who plans to bring along a few artists. The mission is scheduled for 2023. So exciting, isn't it? I can't wait to see all this. There is also significant Starship milestones on the horizon. Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, recently unveiled a gleaming new full-scale prototype of the vehicle known as Starship MK1, which could begin uncrewed test flights at a height of 12 miles, that's 20 kilometers, in the coming months. NASA is also considering contracting with the private sector to build a crewed Artemis lander. The agency chose 11 companies in May to conduct studies and build prototypes, and this group was required to submit detailed proposals by November 8. NASA plans to select up to four finalists early next year. I think this is the most inspiring thing I've ever seen, Musk told a crowd of about 200 SpaceX employees, guests, and reporters at the company's site near Boca Chica Village, just outside of Brownsville. Wow, what an incredible job. This incredible vehicle was built by such an incredible team. I'm so proud to be part of such a fantastic team. Musk has long stated that the primary goal of SpaceX, which was founded in 2002, has been to assist humanity in becoming a multi-planet species. The company has created reusable Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, as well as reusable Dragon cargo capsules and a new crew Dragon ship for astronauts. It has launch pads in Florida, California, and now Boca Chica, where the company has broken ground on its test site. It could change if SpaceX establishes regular space launches from Boca Chica, according to Mendez. However, if the area remains a test site, the city may not see the desired impact. Certainly, I can say that the community as a whole is ecstatic about the opportunities that the space industry provides. And we are looking forward to learning more about SpaceX's plans out here, Mendez stated to Space.com. Furthermore, Musk said SpaceX has funded a large portion of the development internally, and it's been quite costly. If you've been watching the videos, you'll notice that we've blown up a few of them. As a result, excitement is guaranteed. However, being able to return to spacecraft and booster for reuse would revolutionize space, he said. It would lower the cost of access to space and beyond. A lot of exciting things have happened lately in the space industry. So that was it, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated on the very latest from the space. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe.